It is getting colder and you don't want to get out from under your warm blanket in the morning, but this is no reason to give up on your favorite exercise. So I want to show you how to knit a pair of yoga socks that will not restrict your movements and will keep you warm during your training. For your socks you will need a ball or two of sock yarn, depending on the thickness of the thread, please consult your seller, measuring tape, five sock needles matching the size of the yarn, a needle, scissors, crochet hook, and a stitch counter. There are quite a lot of calculations involved in increases and decreases of the pattern, but bear with me, I will give you visual instructions to guide you through. You can also download them in the link under the video. You can find extensive details on how to decide on the amount of initial stitches in the perfect sock video on my channel. So let's start casting. For this pattern I need to cast 60 stitches with Italian casting method. You can again go to the perfect sock video on my channel to see exactly how it's done. After the casting is done and looped into a circle, we begin the pattern for the rib. We will knit from toe up, so the pattern for the rib goes as follows. The first row you do one purl, two knit stitches and repeat. Second row you do one purl, then second stitch knit from the back, leave on the needle, then the first stitch knit from the front and drop both stitches to the right needle. Third row is one purl stitch, then second stitch knit from the front, leave on the left needle, then first stitch knit from the front and drop both stitches to the right needle. You repeat second and third row to knit 34 rows. Lower body of the sock is a combination of main pattern and the rib pattern. We start with 11 rows of main pattern. First row is one purl and one knit stitch. Second row you switch, so one knit, one purl stitch and repeat. You repeat the second and the third row. The last five rows will be increases from 60 to 76 stitches. In row 11 you had 15 stitches on every needle. To decide if you should add a knit or purl stitch, follow the pattern. You should always have one knit, one purl, one knit, one purl. Row 12, add a stitch in the beginning of the needle, it gives you 16 stitches. Then 2 on the next needle, so you get 17. Then again 2, so you get 17. And again 2, so you get 17. You will get in total 67 stitches. Row 13. Repeat 67 stitches row without increase. Row 14. Add 2 so it gives you 18, add 2 so it gives you 19, add 2 so it gives you 19 and add 2 so it gives you 19 stitches. We will have in total 75 stitches.
Row 15. Distribute your stitches in such a way that you have 20 stitches on one needle, just after the tail, then 18 stitches, then again 18 and 19. Row 15A. Knit 20 stitches, then 18, then add 1 so it gives you 19, then 19. You will have 76 stitches now. Where needle before and after tail will form main pattern of 39 stitches. And two remaining needles will continue with the rib of 37 stitches. You will do main pattern on two needles and rib pattern on two needles for 10 rows. For next row you will need the main pattern, but close the rib pattern to form the heel gap. To form the heel gap, take one stitch unneeded on the right needle, then you have to knit or purl depending on the pattern you see. And then pull the knitted stitch through the one which is remaining on your needle. You can find extensive details on how to close the stitches in the perfect sock video on my channel. To finish closing, you should also close one stitch from the main pattern. Then continue to knit the main pattern on two needles. Now you should do the starting row for another side of the heel. There are different ways on how to do it, but I find cutting with the crochet hook the easiest. So when you come to the needle with the closed stitches, you take crochet hook, get into the first stitch of the previous row and chain loosely 37 stitches. Put the last stitch on the needle with the main pattern and continue to knit the main pattern. When you come to the crochet chain, you have to pick up the stitches in the same way we started with the rib. One purl to knit, one purl to knit.
Then you continue with the main pattern. The second row of the rib will be one purl, second from the back, leave on the needle, first from the front, drop and so on. You will continue combination of main and rib patterns for 10 rows. There is one important thing to remember when knitting the yarn with section colors. Sometimes the yarn is cut in such a way that the pattern doesn't match anymore. That means that your socks will look different even if you knit exactly the same size. To avoid that, we have to rematch the sections of the yarn. To do that, I wind the yarn and put it next to the already knitted sock. I cut away as much yarn as needed to get a match again. Then you get two yarns together without a visible knot and continue knitting. You can find details on how to connect two yarns on the perfect sock video on my channel. Now we are moving to the upper part of the sock and start decreases from 76 to 66 stitches. To remind, you have 20 stitches on a needle just after the tail, then 18, then 19, and 19 again to make 76 stitches. We will decrease between the rib and the main patterns. You will do decreases on the sides where the main pattern was. On the side where the rib was, you will start the main pattern, so the rows will be all main pattern again. Row 1 of decrease, at the end of the needle, knit 3 stitches together so you get 18, then knit 18, then 19, then knit 2 together to get 18. Row 3, at the end of the needle, knit 3 together to get 16, then 18, then 19, then at the beginning of the needle, 3 together to get 16. Row 4, at the end of the needle, knit 3 together to get 14, then 18, then 19, then 16, so you can get 67 stitches. Row 4A. Reposition your stitches in such a way that you have 16, 15, 16 and 20 stitches on the needles. Row 5. Need 16, then 15, then 16, at the beginning of the needle 2 together, so it makes 19. Now you have 66 stitches. Continue for 56 rows with the rib pattern.
We are coming to the last section with increases. The last increase gives a comfortable fit to the sock. To remind, we have 16, 15, 16 and 19 stitches on the needles. We have to add stitches to get to 72 stitches. First, we have to reposition stitches on the needle to have 16, 17, 16 and 17 stitches. Then you need the following row. Need 16, add 3, 1 purl and 2 knit stitches to make 20. Then knit 16, then add 3, 1 purl and 2 knit to make 20. You continue the rib for another 6 rows. Now you can close the last row of the sock. Make the loops loose so the rib sits comfortably on your leg. When you knitted both socks, don't forget to wash them to make them identical as they may stretch during knitting and fitting. You can find how to do it in the perfect sock video instruction. Now your winter yoga socks are ready and you can enjoy your exercise even more. Stay warm and fit!